Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. So we go for our last part for this chapter which is Lee Chatelain's principle. So this is the objective uh, of this session. So we'll go for the last objective which is take the Lee Chatelain's principle and explain the factors affecting the equilibrium. Alright. So what is Lee Chatelain's principle? It is a principle discovered by Henry Lee Chatelain that states that if a system at equilibrium experiences a change, the system will shift its equilibrium to try to compensate for the change. So this principle can be used to predict the behavior of the system for these stresses which are concentration, pressure, temperature and addition of the catalyst. So for the first change which is changing in concentration that is applied only for gas and aqueous solution. So there are two criteria here, lower the concentration and increase the concentration. If we lower the concentration of the species, the system will shift to produce more of the species. And if we increase the concentration of the species, or adding some of a species, the system will shift to produce less of the species. Meaning that, referring for this example, we have a reaction of A in gas state plus 2B in gas state to C in gas state. So if we increase the concentration of A species, so increasing of the species will lead to produce less of the species so we will produce less of A so A is in the reactant position so we, pro we will produce less of A meaning that the sh uh, direction of the equi equilibrium will shift to the right to the product so we will produce more product but if we decrease the concentration of A we will produce more of A meaning that it will shift to the left, we will produce more reactant because A is in reactant position. Similar to the B, uh, uh, B species because it's, it is in the same position which is reactant. But if we increase the concentration of C, so C is in the uh, product position. Increasing the concentration of C will produce less of C. So we will produce less of the product, meaning that we will produce more reactant. So it will shift to the left. Decreasing the concentration of C will produce more of C, meaning that we will produce more of product, so it will shift to the right. Okay, for exercise 1, you are given 2NOBR gas to 2NO gas and bromine gas and predict the direction of the above fraction if A bromine gas is removed. So if we remo remove uh, the bromine, it will produce more bromine. So it will shift to the product, to the right. The right. Because bromine is in the right position so if NO gas is added so NO is added we will produce less of NO so NO is in the product position so we will produce less of NO then we shift to the left NOBR gas is added NOBR is in the reactant position so it's if we add more NOBR so we produce less of NOBR so we shift to the right NOBR gas is removed so we produce more NOBR so since NOBR is in the reactant position so we shift to the left so BR2 gas is added so we produce less of the uh, bromine gas so we, here we shift to the left Okay, for the second uh, stress, changing the volume of pressure. 
This one, they apply for the gas uh, species. So they are similar to the changing in concentration. So we have two criteria here, whether we increase or decrease the pressure or volume. Increasing the pressure or decrease the volume, the system will shift to the least number of gas molecules. While if we decrease the pressure or increase the volume, the system will shift to the highest number of gas molecules. So what is this least number of gas molecules and the highest number of gas molecules? So we go for the example. You are given a reaction A plus 2B to C. All of them is in gas, gas state. So first, you need to find the number of moles for each of the reactant and the product. So the reactant is A and B. And the product is C. So for the reactant, we have 3 moles represent for this, the stoichiometric number 1A plus 2B, 3 moles and for the product, we have 1 moles only. So the higher moles is for the reactant and the lower moles is for the, re, uh, for the product. Okay, for the first, the stress here whether we increase the pressure or decrease the pressure. So if we decrease the pressure, so decreasing the pressure will lead to the system to shift to the higher no number moles of gas. So the higher moles is for the reactant. So it will shift to the reactant, meaning that it will shift to the left, then it will produce more reactant. Increasing the pressure will shift to the lower moles of gas. So the lower moles is the product. So we shift to the right and it will produce more product so similar to decrease the volume we will shift to the right uh, shift to the lower mode so it meaning that produce more products so decrease the pressure is similar with the increasing the volume we will shift to the left and produce more reactant so the exercise here you are given an, an, an equation 2S2 plus oxygen uh, to 2SO3 and predict the reaction. So similar to the example, so you need to find which are which represent for the higher moles of gas and uh, for the lower moles of gas. So the reactant here you have 2 plus 1, so the reactant we have 3 moles. The product here we have two more. Okay, so pressure increase, so we lead to the lower uh, moles of the system. So the lower mole here is the product, so we shift to the right. Pressure is decreased, so we shift to the higher moles of uh, gases. So higher moles is the reactant, so we shift to the Left. And volume increase is similar to the pressure increase, so it will shift to the left. Volume decrease, <coughs> it will shift to the lower number of moles, so it will shift to the right. Okay. So the third stress here is changing temperature. So for the changing temperature, uh, you need to uh, identify whether the reaction is endothermic or exothermic because uh, these two different uh, reaction will show you different shifting. For the endothermic, uh, which absorb heat from surrounding, increasing the, the temperature will lead the reaction goes forward, meaning shifted to the right. So decrease the temperature, reaction will goes backward. So we uh, will shift to the left. For exothermic reaction, which is releasing the heat to surrounding, increasing the, the, the temperature, the reaction goes backward, decreasing the temperature, <coughs> the reaction goes forward to the right. Okay. So this is the exercise. So you are given 
an equation and the delta H predict the direction of the above reaction if we increase the temperature or decrease the temperature. So you need to find, to look for the delta H, the sign of the delta H. So the sign of delta H here is the positive, so meaning that it is an endothermic reaction. So it's endothermic. So if it's endothermic, uh, meaning that <coughs> if the temperature is increased, then the reaction will go to forward reaction. So forward to the right. If decrease, so it will give to backward. So similar to the uh, as a exercise 4, so you need to look for the delta H. So delta H, we have the negative sign, so it is exothermic. So exothermic, if temperature is increased, so it will go to backward, back, shifting to the left. Temperature decrease, it will go to forward. So the last one using catalyst, uh, the addition of catalyst uh, does not shift the position of the equi equilibrium whether it go to the right or left. But uh, the, cat the catalyst only provide uh, or lower the activation energy for forward and reverse reaction. It just increases the rate of reaction and uh, shorten the time taken for the reaction to so the last one we discuss and 204 to 2 and 2 you are given delta H also in which direction will the equilibrium shift when N204 is added. So N204 is added meaning that we will produce less of N204. So N204 is in the reacting position so we shift to the right produce more product. NO2 is removed, NO2 is removed, then we produce more NO2, NO2 is in the product range, product position, we produce more product and it will shift to the right. The pressure is increased by addition of N2 gas, nitrogen gas, pressure increase will lead to uh, shift to the lower number of moles, so the lower number of moles here is N204 at the rate then so we shift to the uh, left volume increase we will shift to the higher moles of uh, gases so higher moles is to uh, the product so we shift to the right the temperature increase depend on the, this delta H so delta H here is positive so it is endothermic so endothermic, if the temperature is decreased, <coughs> then it will go to backward. Shift to the last. So this one you can do it by yourself. Yes, uh, and this is the summary for Lee Chatelier's principle for all stresses, uh, excluded uh, the addition of catalyst. So that's all from me. Thank you, and good luck for your final.